here we are guys once again on the road we are heading down to Windsor Lake St. Clair dual tournament weekend and what I mean by dual tournament is that it is the OKBT tournament and at the same time the Ontario Kayak Bassmasters but anyway we are about two hours away from uh, Lake St. Clair we have a hotel in the town of Windsor traffic is a little heavy right now on the 401 and um, I want to go scout out some launches before we uh, get to the hotel and settle down and all that so I should be there by it looks like 4 p.m. you know opening day on St. Clair is usually a smash fest now I haven't fished St. Clair in five years and that's one thing that I'm really excited about last time I fished St. Clair it was my rookie year as a kayak kayak angler right so I had, I had very little experience fishing uh, I had no electronics on my kayak I had a paddle kayak I didn't even have pedals like you know and today I have pedals I have a motor I have my sonar with side imaging you know I have obviously more experience as an angler so I think it's gonna be a lot different I think uh, I feel like I'm gonna have a good number of my in my card tournament morning let's get him yeah I'm gonna paddle out to all, where all these other kayakers are and then uh Hopefully catch some smallies. There's a lot of boats and kayakers all concentrated in the same area. Hopefully I can catch some around here. Well, I don't have a depth finder. I should have really get one. I'd really like to see any uh, structure under me. That would be a plus. I'm fishing blind here. Capture the first St. Clair Smalley. Cheers, 15 inches. Masters. Let's go. Tournament has started. It's 6 05. I'm a little late. Let's go. Pulling, man. That's number one. Let's go. Well, guys, welcome to Lake St. Clair. I haven't been here in a few years. I'm excited to be here. First fish of the day, caught on the top water. 
nice 17 inch molly good start still early in the morning let's keep on fishing It was, yeah, that's why they didn't launch over there. Hey, they don't want you to launch over there, but they're not even in your tournament anyway. No. It's a good head shakes. Oh, ooh. <laughs> like a 17. Yeah. Well, it's number three. Number three. She went 16 and a quarter. Working my way towards the limit. Sixteen three quarters, number four. Oh, almost got the limit. One more. Barely hooked. She was barely hooked. She was like a 15er. There we go. That's number five.
I barely did any talking to the camera today. Um, I was really, I, I was actually pretty concentrated the whole day. Um, I barely stopped for like any snack breaks or washroom breaks or anything like that. It was so hot too. But um, I try to stay focused on my game plan. Did I follow it completely? No, because I spent a lot of time here in this section when I wanted to fish out there more in the open water and looking for uh, like isolated structure in the water, rocks and boulders and stuff like that. Even though I didn't completely stick to my game plan, I am really happy with the results. I finished with 83 inches, I believe. The crazy thing about a lake like St. Clair, the top 10, the people that are in top 10 have, are in the 90s. The people with like, I think it goes up to down to like 55th place is an 80 inch mark. It's, it's crazy, like everybody, I don't know if everybody, but a lot of people caught a lot of fish. I couldn't catch any upgrades. My, I, my smallest fish was a 16 and I could not catch any upgrades. All the fish that I caught when I was fishing in that section over there were all 15, so. I couldn't upgrade anything. I'm surprised I didn't bump into any big girls. But anyway, I'm headed back to the launch now. The tournament is, is officially over, so I'm gonna motor my way over and uh, go to the award ceremony. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.